Rich Kid Nipsey. Check it out now. Rich Kid Show on all the smoke, people. Now, if you guys don't know, man, Rich Kid been dissing Lil Uzi Vert ever since Uzi tweeted at him and said, boy, I ain't going to sign to your bitch ass label for no 20 racks. And it's been rumored that Rich Kid is signing niggas for 20 racks. Why be in Almighty J? Might have signed for 20 racks. He has to let us know. But that's been the thing that he's been offering. 20 racks. Now, I can't say that's a bad situation. People don't understand what it means to sign for money. You're not getting free money unless it's a signing bonus. And a lot of times they don't do that. They just do an advance. So, when you get an advance, it's a loan. If you want a big loan, you want a small loan. When do you want to start making profit? That's the whole conversation. Regardless... Uzi and Rich the Kid, they kind of been doing tit for tat. Uzi got on his Snapchat and he did like a, a crab in his hand. And he said, yo, this is Rich the Kid. Rich the Kid obviously got a diss song out on him called Dead Friends, which is on his album, The World Is Yours. And basically he bossed up again on Uzi on the song and kind of violated him. He said, listen, you little niggas, my check bigger, can't flex, can't bet with you, teach you how to be a boss, top dropped off, motherfuck the fame, I done came for the vault, all them dead friends, you a middle man, you a little man, your money getting shorter, my bitch from across the water, teach you how to count, all about it, better boss up, put my pride to the side, I could never lie, I don't care if you cry, let them pussy niggas die. Now, that's clear and direct, at Lil Uzi Vert. Now, Richard Kidd is taking it to a next step. Looks like he's trying to purchase the contract of Lil Uzi Vert, who, by the way, is signed to Atlantic, through Generation Now, which is helmed and owned by Don Cannon and also DJ Drama. Now, Rich the Kid posted this picture to his Instagram and deleted after a few minutes, but the message was clear. He said, just bought this little nigga contract. Big ups to DJ Drama. Now, again... Drama's main artist is Uzi. And clearly, he calls him Little Nigga on a song. He's saying that, yo, I'm buying his contract. And it then makes me think, because I do believe it's a little bit trolling, because I don't think he bought shit, and Drama would be an idiot to even indulge in a conversation about selling his contract to Rich the Kid. Listen, does Rich the Kid really believe his rhymes where he says, listen, your money getting shorter and basically like you a big boss with big money, even more than Uzi. Man, if it's true that Uzi made a million and he probably made more than that now, maybe like two million off EXO Tour Life. Man, I don't know if Richard Kidd made two million dollars off any music he's ever put out in life. OK, so Uzi probably made more on one song than Richard Kidd has ever made in his whole career off music. And I'm, I got to specify off music. Richard Kid definitely gets a lot of money by performing a lot, and of course, tour money is different. And I mean, then we could talk about Uzi getting supposedly almost 100 racks for a show now, so it still doesn't equate up in my eyes. But apparently, Rich the Kid is gonna stretch that truth or stretch the lie because he's pointing out, I'm a boss, you're a worker, okay? Basically, he's pulling a Dame Dash on Lil Uzi Vert, so don't matter if Lil Uzi Vert is actually making way more money and way more successful, he's saying you're just not a boss, and that's why you keep complaining, and I'm gonna shit on you, and now I might buy a contract and put you on the shelf. Do I believe this is true? We want to see the receipts, but I gotta say, if it was probably some artist, I don't know, Rich the Kid probably could pull this off, okay, and not because I think he has the money, but I don't know how he signed X. I don't know how he signed YB and J Almighty. I don't know how. And actually, no, never mind. Because uh, Jay Critch was just coming up. I understand how we got Jay Critch. But Famous Dex, when Famous Dex was kind of popping. And also YB and J Almighty, who was with basically uh, uh, YB and Amir. And you could have just rode his coattails to success. Why well, sign the Richard Kid? So he got a knack for signing people. So maybe this is true. Or maybe he really want to keep beef with Uzi. For attention, okay, and his album's out, so of course he want more attention, more sales, and that's how shit goes in life. Get a comment, Marks, if you guys like them, subscribe. What do you guys think about this? According to Richard Kidd, he's buying the contract off Lil Uzi Vert from DJ Drama. I call bullshit. It's boy academics. Oh.